thermal expansion formula but the the diagrams the conditions given physical conditions those things should be understood properly so we have a bimetallic strip instead of I will do welding for these two things. So this is the material of length alpha one, alpha two. They are welded. I will raise the temperature. So what do you expect? If they are not welded, they will expand. So if they are not welded, no. Suppose that these are the two rods. Yeah, let it be. So if I increase temperature, if they are not welded, just they are. <laughs> are in joint now, so they will they will expand naturally. T two greater than T one. Ah, uh, when do when do when do this will happen? If they are not well data. Now, if I well, if I do welding on them, so what do you mean by sir welding? So that they are, I'll take some fabric, fabric stick. These are not rods, so you can take this a plates or anything. Okay, timing. Let let me take like the let be a rod. So these are welded here, two cylindrical rods. How uh, sir, what is the area of cross section? It can be what will happen, circular or rectangle. Let it be different. I, they are welded. Then I'll increase temperature. If I put alpha one greater than alpha two. This wants to expand more, no? Then this will not permit. So when they are welded like this, so when you raise the temperature, so how the shape of the rods will be? The rods, what happen? Will bend. Instead of this, if you raise the temperature, the rod. Now you have to ask questions, sir. Why, why this curvature you are bringing? Any, any reason for that? That the simplest thing is like since alpha one greater than alpha two. If alpha two greater than alpha one, then it will bend like this. So when they are not welded, this will be thing. So let's have a diagram. If when they are welded. So if alpha one greater than alpha two, if alpha two greater than alpha one, so it will be like this. Now you have to give explanation, <coughs> sir. Why why it will happen like this? If alpha one greater than alpha two, this rod wants to expand more, no? So therefore, it will be con convex. It 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 will be curvature will be like this here. If alpha two more than alpha one, this wants to expand more, but this will not permit. So therefore, they'll take shape like this here. Getting the idea? So when you raise temperature, th this will be a temperature T one degree Celsius. How the curvature? The curvature depends upon which one is greater. So let me assume alpha one greater than alpha two. So I'm interested now few things like. What is the radius of curvature? So due to rise in temperature, so earlier T one degree Celsius. Now what is the temperature? T two degree Celsius. So I want expression for radius of curvature. On what all factors this radius of curvature depends here? This called a bimetallic strip. Now, very useful in applications. Of course, we don't go for application much. Uh, what is the question? Find the radius of curvature. Uh, are you seeing any curvature for that? So 
So let R be the radius of curvature. Let the thickness of okay then this one let it be d hmm? okay let's let's get into that this one so what is the uh, length of the rod one length of the rod l1 should be equal to initial length let's assume l0 so l0 into 1 plus alpha 1 delta theta and what is this quantity equal to from the diagram arc length it should be r plus d into and this is delta t i'll write it then similarly what is l2 is equal to l naught 1 plus alpha 2 delta t should be equal to r theta now what are l1 l2 length of this part if you want you can start with the middle let me directly take this one so this is l2 this is l2 and let this be l1 So let's divide this two. So L1 by L2 should be equal to R plus D theta by R theta. What is L1? What is L2? R plus D by R. Uh, no, L0 also gets eliminated. Let me go for binomial expansion. So this will be 1 plus alpha 1 delta theta, alpha 2 delta theta. Uh, th this is, I'll, I'll, I'll go for one more step. One minus alpha two delta theta one plus d by r. So that one gets eliminated. Oh, this is sorry, sorry. It should be product of this two, no? Alpha one, alpha two delta theta now what are alpha and alpha 2 they'll be very small negligible so therefore I'll, I'll end up with the expression d by r so this radius of curvature how it is it is inversely proportional to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 and inversely proportional to change in temperature. If alpha 1 minus alpha 2 is more, R will be less. Fine. If the rise in temperature is more, R will be less. So like that, what happened? How much it will bend? How much it will bend? That depends upon the difference in quotient of linear expansion <coughs> and the rise in temperature. Uh, this will be a very troublesome topic for students because like uh, we have seen simple pendulum suddenly one two concept one two formulas finish or beyond that nothing will be there again again this is the thing like that open you'll get multiple ideas there are around 15 to 20 ideas are there with thermal expansion so in exams so you should be very careful about so what we should know so we should have a better idea about the other topics uh, thermal expansion is very simple delta l is equal to l alpha delta theta or delta t. It will be how that thermal expansion will be there in that particular system that have to be modified. So there are some questions of this kind related to thermal expansion. Previous problem you have seen something related to some topic. So these are called like a mixed concept. So maximum you get questions of this kind on an exam. Hmm? Like a mixed concept or sometimes there's a pure thermal expansion. So there's a bimetallic strip. And now you see this uh, like 
uh, what actually if they're welded if they're not welded it will be off like this so how do i come to know i think that is a some observation a student must have observation if they are not welded this will expand this will expand they're free to expand if they're welded this wants to expand more so this will what, what this will do this will try to oppose so therefore it will start bending so based on alpha 1 greater than alpha 2 <coughs> based on that the curvature will take place like this thing. okay we have other questions i think let's take with one small one it is Uh, a and B made 